Well, murder trials without a body, a victim's body, certainly are unusual. Uh, however, one man is currently serving a life sentence for a Wabash Valley murder where they never discovered, recovered the victim. News 10's Amanda Jarrett joins us now live in the studio with more. Amanda? Mark Patrice, in the 1980s, forensic science wasn't even close to what we have today. However, Clark County, Illinois officials were able to land a conviction more than 20 years ago in a grisly murder without a body. We never found the body of the victim, uh, Charlotte Grabby. Dan Crumrin served as sheriff investigating Fred Grabby for the murder of his wife. With no body and little evidence, it was a tough case. It was, it was pretty unique at that time. But an eyewitness helped their case. She was actually an eyewitness to the homicide and to the destruction of the body afterwards. But the tough part was proving it to a jury without a body. It can be nerve-wracking, and um, in your own mind, you're certain this individual is guilty, but it's being able to prove it to 12 other individuals. Even if they didn't have a witness, Crumrin says they still would have proceeded because they knew he was guilty. If you have a case in your own mind, you think they're guilty, and you have any kind of strong case at all, you need to present it and let a jury decide. Investigators discovered Charlotte's body would never be found. It was burned and dumped in the river. But that didn't stop the jury from convicting Fred Grabby. Fred Grabby is currently serving a natural life sentence in prison at Western Illinois Correctional C Center. He'll be eligible for parole in 2022. As for the trial of Brent England in Vigo County, I'll be in court tomorrow and we'll be updating you, updating you on air and online as the trial progresses. Back to you. Thank you, Amanda. You can follow updates of the England trial online, WTHITV.com, and on our WTHI Facebook page.